At the King County Courthouse, thousands of people come and go every day on county business. You just never know when things are going to happen. Nick Lacey comes to work here, dodging people on drugs, police activity, even human waste. There's people urinating on the streets, there's feces everywhere. And my daughter was uh, asking, is it safe down here? And I says, sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. IT employee Steve Ferris brought his family downtown to celebrate his 20 year anniversary working for the county. He says the changes are undeniable. It's getting worse down here. I mean, it is with the shootings that are happening and it's you know happening more often. Judge Sean O'Donnell wrote about the concerns on his Facebook page. I've never seen conditions worse. A criminal prosecutor commented that on Wednesday an already scared and reluctant witness was assaulted during our morning recess. Then two attacks on jurors and in separate incidents outside the Third Avenue entrance. King 5 has obtained an eternal communication detailing a list of random assaults on staff for the prosecutor's office. They've been punched, spit at, and have had people exposing themselves to them. Seattle police say they aggressively patrol the area around the courthouse. Their crime data for the first six months of the last three years shows that the number of recorded incidents is actually down for 2017. But the sheriff, whose office is also in the courthouse, said they can no longer rely on data alone. It's about crime and the fear of crime. And clearly, I think there is a fear of crime in this area. Sheriff John Urquhart will ask the county for overtime funding for deputies to patrol a footbeat around the courthouse. Some staffers want the county to reopen the 4th Avenue entrance, which was closed due to budget cuts. Whatever the solution, courthouse staff says it needs to happen now. Fix it and make things better down here for us that work at King County Courthouse. In Seattle, Alyssa Hahn, King 5 News.